dropped in. I've got that Hi there, information mister. Information you asked for. Oh, do you have the time there? Sorry, I do not know. Right here for you when you're ready. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Yep, that's the word in town. Let's go. You got a problem with me? Raiders fought tooth and nail for this territory. And here's you just strolling through. I've seen folk like you before. Always the first to run screaming. You the local hard man, huh? Round here's a dozen towns folk offer to bury you just to keep my hands clean. I've seen tougher schoolboys. Enough! Let's go! Uh, uh, Rat bastard, come on! He's been eating some bad meat. We'll send you where you came from! I'm no part of this, okay? Jesus. What in the name of Jesus Christ? Get away from Christ. me! You came close. Just close. I'm bored with doing all the work around here, Wendell White. Oh. oh, you're leaving me, huh? Sure. Yeah, we'll leave this there. <laughs> what you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come right, on. And right, I'll tell you, on. you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this? <laughs> 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 Waste of my time. I mean, really, that, that was unbelievable. Thank you, Lord. No, no, no. How's it? <laughs> Mr. Black and Mr. White. The hell are you doing? Ah! 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 I'm gonna put you on my ear. <laughs> Hey, friend. Hello. How was it in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you, 
killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right, till things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I'm counting the hours, White. You've done enough for us. We're on our own now. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just that he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, Gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur. So everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. 
You twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Oh, grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No, I... Dear, what choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. What do you want from me? Tell me, how are you doing? Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. What the hell, Morgan? boy.
Let's keep looking. to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. I'll check this way. Good. Let's just walk normal. Trying to draw us out. Can't see worth a damn. We sure picked the right night for it. Reckon this is gonna wake a few people up. No doubt. Let's get after them. I can hardly see what I'm shooting at. If it moves, blast it. We heard you a mile off. Now, I think we got one left. Let's smoke him out. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time Dutch can go and I'll have the drink. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. Let's stay on them, come on! their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. <laughs> Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Maybe we can get out that gate. 
Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Let's go around the side. Let's get this done. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took <laughs> your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Look, Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Come on, son. There. 
Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah. Behind you. Oh. Right. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And <clears throat> lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating? Or what? Yes, we're celebrating. Oh, 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 good. good to have you back, kid. Oh, we missed you. Hey, hey, how about a song? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Javier, play us away. Woo! <laughs> Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. De la 
así es la morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores porque cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los Lágrimas vine llorando y con la flor del trompillo me venía consolando. Thanks, Mama. Can I play a Yo soy como oh, el coyotito well done, que los revuelco y los dejo. Y me voy al trompillo mirando yeah. por debajo. Well, I'll let you fine folks get reacquainted. Hello. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. Faith, Arthur. Have a little faith. Hi, Miss Grimshaw. you back too, Tilly. You've been rescuing people left and right. Well, it weren't just me. Let's leave him to play a minute. Welcome home, little Jack. You love me really, Grimshaw. Hello, Miss Jones. Hi, John. Hey, sweetheart. You're in a good mood. I'm just happy to have the boy back safe. Ain't nobody ever gonna take him again. I swear. So, I was thinking, Maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stayed together. You know, in my room. You mean like a normal family? <laughs> Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. Take this fella for one. Man don't just change like the wind, Abigail. I thought you'd have known that by now. No, Arthur, some folks change. And others is just too dumb.
<laughs> Come on along now, Jack. It's time for bed. Say goodnight to everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone. Don't stay up too late. Maybe there is damnation. But I think I know what that will be like. All of that uh -huh. I think we're gonna be okay, Mr. Morgan. See if you feel the same in the morning. Oh, it's Get some rest. Get some rest. What am I, a child, to be talked to like that? I am a lady. A lady well bred, not some trollop off the street you can pick up your sentimental bastard. I'm a lady. Oh, yes, I can see. Very lady. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I have the feeling you're about to tell me. You have ruined my life. I see things on your shoulders. I'm sure you do. You see everything differently. Leave me alone. All opposition, they defied so the people must root hog or die! Root hog or die! My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Molly? Yes? Morning. You seem miles away. I'm fine. Anyway, not my business, I guess. Just leave me be. 